Hello there, today I'm going to be explaining the Simple Rockets 2 Iceberg. Just in case you don't know how an iceberg works, I'm quickly going to explain it. So this is an iceberg, it has different tiers or layers. The layers at the top have the most commonly known subjects or the least controversial ones. And the layers under the iceberg in the deepest darkest parts of the water are the deepest and darkest topics. Anyway, now that you know how this works, let's get on to the first layer. Jundaroo. Jundaroo is the company that made Simple Rockets 2. The company was founded by Andrew Garrison on the 3rd of April 2012. Excluding Simple Rockets 2, some other popular games they made were Simple Planes and Aero Effect. The Jundaroo team currently consists of 7 people. Simple Rockets 1. Simple Rockets 1 is another game made by Jundaroo. It's the precursor to Simple Rockets 2. It's a 2D game where you can build rockets and explore the solar system. Vizzy. Vizzy is a built-in visual scripting tool within Simple Rockets 2. It's a very versatile tool and people have made auto-launch systems, games and even holograms, and many other extremely impressive things. Juno System 1.0 Juno System 1.0 was the first solar system you could play on when the game released in early access on Steam. It had four planets and a star named Juno. Older players will distinctly remember the old launch site. All of the planets and the star in the Juno 1.0 system are still in the game today, but they are completely updated and very different. You can still access the Juno 1.0 system in the game today. Old Default Capsule Old Default Capsule refers to the original default capsule that was in the game. It looks like this. The old default capsule is updated to the modern one in the Taken Control update. Scott Manley Playthrough Scott Manley is a large YouTube content creator. He makes videos about science, space and rockets. A few years ago he made a few videos about Simp Rockets 2 and they are some of the most viewed Simp Rockets 2 videos on YouTube. Planet Studio Planet Studio is a great built-in tool where you can build your own planets. It's highly customizable so you can make many many unique planets. You can access Planet Studio by going into the dev console and typing in Planet Studio. RSS RSS, otherwise known as Realistic Solar System, is a realistic recreation of our solar system. Unlike Juno, the planets are much harder to take off from with a rocket, and also the planets have amazing textures. RSS was made by Hypatch and you can find it on the Simple Rockets 2 website. Simple Rockets Chat Simple Rockets Chat is the largest Simple Rockets 2 Discord server. Some of the Simple Rockets 2 developers are in the server. And although it's not always considered the actual official Simple Rockets 2 Discord server, it's essentially the closest thing there is. It's also where a significant amount of the iceberg entries have happened. ESS ESS, or Enhanced Solar System, is an improved version of the stock Juno Solar System and was made by Pedro and Jastro One. It comes with new planets and moons and lots of different secrets to find on them. Silero slash C Lero pronunciation. This is an ongoing discussion in the Simp Rockets 2 community as to whether this planet's name is pronounced Silero or C Lero. A new Grayson? XML Editing XML Editing, otherwise known as Hidden Properties Editing, is a now built-in tool into Simple Rockets 2 which allows you to edit some crazy settings. For example, you can make objects unrealistically huge, you can add infinite fuel to fuel tanks, and you can even change the colour of rocket engine plumes. Heart Cult The Heart Cult was created by Jastro One, and consists of people putting hearts in their names. The Other SRC SRCTM is another Discord server like SRC, but it has much less rules. G-R-A-A-L This is a craft made by Pedro that could do many automated things before Vizzy was out. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work anymore, but apparently it used to be able to sell Fland and do other cool things. Bill Smith Bill Smith is the name of the druid piloting the Wasp 2.0. Regina McIntyre this druid is both the pilot of the trainer jet and also the aeroplane template jet. Zeon from Oklahoma. Yuri and Sally. 
These were the names of two of the druids that were part of the Simple Rockets Chat Rescue Challenge, and also two out of the three Simple Beast Rockets druids are named Yuri and Sally. Ice Bucket Challenge This refers to the time that Andrew had to do the Ice Bucket Challenge. If you want to watch the video, it's on his personal channel. And only Philip really knows what liquid was poured onto Andrew's head that day. Doge Monkey War This refers to a war started in Simprocket's chat against two rival cults. One cult was made by Jastro One, which were the Doge side, and the other was made by Card Z, which was the monkey side. Beta Drew Beta Drew is just an earlier version of the planet Drew. You can still find some of the earliest pictures of Drew on Andrew's Simple Rockets 2 website profile today. Simple Galaxy Since Simple Galaxy doesn't exist anymore, I can't exactly confirm any of this, but I've been told it's a system that was made before Planet Studio existed. It apparently had an incredibly high amount of planets, and at the time was the only competitor to ESS, which was a system I mentioned earlier in the iceberg. Marcus House has an SR2 profile. Marcus House is a YouTube content creator. He mostly makes videos explaining new changes to the Starship rocket, and he's known to have an SR2 website profile as shown here. Yep. Yep. Website power generated by users. This was apparently an April Fool's joke by Jandru. I can't find any footage of this, but apparently when you would scroll with your mouse on the Simple Planes or Simple Rockets 2 websites it would show you power generated or something like that. Pedro and WNP edited in. This refers to the fact that these two joined Jundru later so they had to be edited into the credits which is pretty funny. SR2 was 2.5D. Early in its development Simple Rockets 2 was actually going to be 2.5D which is really interesting to see. This is the only image of Simple Rockets 2 2.5D which I can find. It's really cool to see and you can see that some of the HUD is actually still where the HUD is today. Sergeia Name Origin Sergeia is a planet in the modern Juno system. The planet was named after Foxtrot who has and probably always will have the most points on the SR2 website. News 222 Apparently this guy would say he was the first person in history to do many things in Simple Rockets 2, which is quite funny. For example, landing a Boeing 737 on Mars, which he has a video to in his channel. Warbrine This is a guy who supposedly was building a multiplayer mod for Simple Rockets 2, but he never released it due to his own scepticism. So yeah, that's about all I know about them. The Goat the Goat was a game made in Unity by Pedro. A few people want the Goat to be a statue in Simple Rockets 2, which I can definitely agree with. Old Feedback Platform The Feedback Platform is a website where you can suggest new ideas for Simple Rockets 2. This was used before you could make suggestions on the actual Simple Rockets 2 website. Although it's old, it still has some pretty interesting suggestions, and quite a few of these things have already been actually made in the game now. The last two are easter eggs and I've been told not to spoil them so I'm going to leave it that way. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I want to give a huge shout out to Hypatch specifically because he did a lot of work on this iceberg. As well as these other people that helped. I spent four days on this video so I hope you enjoy it. I'll consider making another part on the rest of the iceberg in the future. And so finally after this long long outro, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.